Hi everybody, this is Felicia and I'm coming to you today with a layout from the Studio Calico Cirque Kit. What I'm doing right now is I am putting on this um, die and it's an arrow die and I want to lengthen it so I'm trying to, I forgot how to do it because I haven't done it in a while so I figured it out later and how you do it is you you don't put the plates all the way on the area that you want to have lengthened. In other words, you only put it where you want it to be cut at. And as you can see, the arrow comes out longer than the die does. So what I'm going to do with this arrow is, um, oh, there's the um, sketch that I'm going to be doing too as well. And um, I'm going to be putting it on the layout, but <laughs> I end up not putting it where I want to put it so you'll see later on in the video so this is a picture of my granddaughter here and it's at her fourth birthday party she turns five this year um, last year she had a great time we had her uh, her mom put that little pink dress on her and she thought she was princess for the day which <laughs> which was very interesting um, so that is at her fourth birthday party and she did a really good job with um, getting that party together. It was quite a few people that showed up. So all these papers that I'm going to be using are from the kit. And um, it's the, um, the paper that the background paper is from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity. And then we also have, um, let's see, I think some of that stuff is pink paisley as well. Um, the hearts, the, the, the gold hearts are from the Freckled Fawn and then some are also from the chipboard set that I got in the add-on kit, which is the My Mind's Eye on Trend. And so I, I'm going to be using quite a few chipboard pieces here from that um, My Mind's Eye chipboard set called On Trend. So I'm getting them all, all situated. Instead of me journaling, I'm going to be using the chipboards with the wording on it. Um, I figured that I'd better use it that way because the background is so busy. And um, those chipboard pieces are going to be are saying, uh, adventure is going to happen. Be your own kind of beautiful. Do more of what makes you happy. Um, the perfect day. And she, it was, it was a great day for her. And that big, huge chipboard piece right there that says sweet is also from the same chipboard set. That as well. Um, the felt that I glued at the bottom there, that is from the Freckled Fawn kit. So now I'm going to pull out some of these um, Dear Lizzie Gold phrases here. And at first I was going to put always fun. And then I said, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I decided to change it to always good and parties are they're always good there's always cake and food and usually um i like to go to parties just for the cake don't tell anybody <laughs> so i'm trying to i'm going to be fooling around a little bit with these chipboard pieces until i figure out how i want them put but i figured out i better put the smile on something because of the background was so busy that i needed to put the the smile the wood veneer smile there on on something so that you can see it. Inking the edges right now with the Hero Arts Midtone Bubblegum Ink. I these Hero Art Hero Arts inks are are the the best actually. I really like them. So I'm doing. I've cut that into a banner, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on. One strip of adhesive, and then here's where. I figured I'm not going to get this on straight. So I bring out my T ruler to get it on straight. I don't know. Um, I think what's been going on lately is um, I just haven't been getting things straight on these layouts. And so um, I guess at the angle that I'm sitting at, um, hopefully soon I'll be able to get this scrap room of mine changed around so that I can do more standing instead of sitting while I'm scrapping because I would prefer to do that instead because then I would get a lot of things on straight. <laughs> anyway, now I'm um, gluing down these um, chipboard hearts. And like I said, these are a mixture from the Freckled Fawn kit 
and the My Mind's Eye chipboard set that I got from the uh, On Trend collection. So I got them all mixed up, but anyway, they all look the same, so it all works. Now I'm getting those down and trying to make sure that they're on straight. And once again, I'm using that glue. Oh, awesome glue. Love it. And that piece is also from the chipboard set. So there you see me going to glue down. And that's what I'm liking about this glue bottle. See how easy that was to get in there? Oh, this is just the awesomest thing, I tell you. Um, so right now I am getting all of that stuff glued down, including the felt there. And it's going at the base of the photo. And then I'm also going to glue this other piece of felt down um, at the base of the photo. And glue is awesome. Nice precision tip. All righty, got that down. And now I'm getting ready to glue this piece down. Some of the sticky came off of this piece of the chipboard, so I, I just added some glue on there to make sure that it stays. So I don't want it popping off later. And then that little tiny flare badges. I like the little small flare badges better <laughs> than the bigger ones. I have a whole lot of bigger ones, and some of them I use and some of them I don't. But I'm going to make up the point to make it a point, excuse me, to uh, use them. So there you go. See me straightening that thing out there, the chipboard pieces. I also inked um, a couple of the white pieces of the chipboard uh, to bring it out a little bit against all of the busy in the background. I thought I wasn't going to be able to work with this background paper, but I figured it out and it actually worked out for me. I, I liked how this came out. So there I am gluing down the words there. And then I changed my mind and put always good. There you go. So there's that arrow that I cut out earlier. And it wasn't supposed to go down here, but I figured since I cut it out, I'm going to make this arrow work. <laughs> and I get another one of those little tiny flare badges. That's definitely going to go on there. But then I, after fooling around, I, I didn't like the triangle. So I removed the triangle, of course, and I put down there um, a couple of uh, other word phrases from the Dear Lizzie um, uh, pack there. Putting that arrow down. And this flare badge. And then I'm, I, I'm figuring out what to put down there. So I, I think it's going to end up being enjoy today. And that's what I lifted up to make sure it's straight. So now I am going ahead and finishing up, seeing if I can find something else to put down there. And I eventually do later, but there was something I wanted in that space. So I, um, look at it and fiddle around with it a little bit. And then I remembered, oh, that's right, the enamel dots. And so <laughs> I put one in the center of that flower and then I figure out where I wanted to put the other three. And it's a nice little coral color. I like that color. So then once I get down these enamel dots, then I'm gonna go ahead and take it over to my sewing machine and sew some um, rows. So here I am back and I am cutting off the loose threads in the back and I'm going to put some washi so that it doesn't uh, fray or come apart and pull apart because sometimes if you don't anchor it down it will come apart. So I'm putting some pieces of washi down there at the ends of the sewing. So there I go. Adding one more pink arrow on there and that's from the freckled fawn. And that sign right there, which is from the Dear Lizzie pack as well. And she is an adventure. Trust me. That's why I put that down there. Um, I'm using my Wink of Stella to go over the smile to give it a little bling so it doesn't stand, so it could stand out a little bit and don't be so dull. And then adding my tab on here to put the date, and I'm putting the month and the year. 
and it was May of 2014. Cutting off that loose threads there. And we're all done. Thank you guys for watching and take care and thank you for subscribing.